We define defined. That's hard to say. We define defined based on. This is Netta Manley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I help women over 40, women just like you, experience confidence in their style and start having fun with fashion. So today we're going to talk about something that I get asked about a lot. And there's a lot of confusion and, in my opinion, misinformation about body types out there. So I use a very simple system called the Style Dial system. One of the reasons I love the Style Dial is because it's a circular model and it, it, it leaves room for all of our body types in this system because there are not just three or five or 12 or 17 um, body types in the world. We are all fearfully and wonderfully made and we are all amazingly unique. So so I think that the system really takes all of that in, and all of the uniqueness and all of the variations in our body types into account, right? So, but there, there is a breakdown that really breaks it down into three basic simple types. And then you may fall somewhere um, in one of these three broader categories. And then you might also be a hybrid of two of them. So I'm going to get into it right away and um, try to simplify it as best as possible. So one of the tools that I like to use when determining someone's body type is this hardware thing. This came from Home Depot. I think it's called a T-bar and um, I, I will link it below if I'm wrong. But essentially what it can do is it can help you discover where your shoulders and hips um, sit in relation to each other. Um, so if you put your shoulders and hips and you line them up with this bar like this, you can see how proportional your shoulders and hips are to each other. So that's the first question I want you to ask yourself when you're determining your body type using the system that I use. Do your shoulders sit outside of your hips or do your shoulders sit inside of your hips? Are your shoulders narrower than your hips or are your shoulders broader than your hips? Or are they, as they are with me, about the same? So my shoulders and my hips are proportional. They are the same width. So that's the first question to ask yourself. Are your shoulders wider than your hips, narrower than your hips, or about the same as your hips? Question one, okay? Write that down so you don't forget. And most of us have an idea whether, you know, if, if we feel like our shoulders are broader or if we feel like our hips are curvier, we may have an idea already about this first question, right? So first, First question to ask yourself to determine your body type. Second question is to ask yourself whether your hips, your sorry, your waist is defined or undefined. So we define defined, that's hard to say, we define defined based on um, the, the number of inches that your waist is smaller than your hips and your shoulders. So if your waist is two or more inches smaller than your hips or your shoulders, then your waist is defined. If, you're, if your waist is less than two inches smaller than your waist or your shoulders, your hips are, un, are, I'm sorry, your waist is undefined. So how defined is your waist? That's the next question to ask yourself. So those are the two questions and those will really determine which of the body types you fall into with some um, additional details built in when I do, when I do a full body type analysis, it gets, it gets more, um, thorough and more complicated than this, but this will really give you an idea. So if you have, um, hips and shoulders about the same width, like I do, and your waist is defined, you are considered a style dial one or a style dial red. We're transitioning to calling it a red, um, in this body type system, style dial one or style dial red. So that's basically an hourglass body type. Your hips and shoulders are about the same and your waist is defined. If your hips and shoulders are about the same and your waistline is undefined, then you are a style dial three or a style dial blue. Um, if your hips sit outside of your shoulders, they're curvier than your shoulders and your shoulders are narrower, you're a style dial two or a style dial green. So based on your color number, a one and a three, red and blue, will want to look at vertical necklines and vertical necklaces. So I'm wearing a vertical neckline right here. A V-neck is a great choice for somebody who has proportional hips to shoulders. And um, a vertical neckline and a long necklace, which can also create that vertical neckline. If you're wearing a, a scoop or a crew or another neckline that might not be vertical, adding that long necklace will really create and maintain that proportion that you already have in your body. 
If you are styled out two or styled out green, then um, you're going to want to look for more horizontal necklines and more horizontal necklaces, which will broaden your shoulders and help balance out the lower half of your body. So um, it's just a simple technique, but if you can alter your necklines or at least pay attention when you're shopping to your necklines and to your necklaces a little, I think you will find that the rest of your body looks so much more proportional and you'll find your clothes more and more flattering. It, this is such um, a game changer for a lot of the women that I work with. Once they start adjusting their eye and adjusting their necklines, they find that their whole wardrobe looks better. So style doll one, style doll three, vertical necklines and vertical necklaces. Style doll two, horizontal necklines, horizontal necklaces. If you have shoulders that are broader than your hips, you are most likely a style doll three. And in that case, you're, you're definitely going to want to go vertical with your necklines and necklaces. It's going to become even more important because it will really bring your shoulders into balance with the rest of your body. So quick body type tip today and I just wanted to, to kind of share the system that I use and to give you a little snapshot into it. Of course, I do full body type analysis in my Ageless Style program and we look at everything. We look at your vertical height, we look at your vertical um, proportions, we look at your horizontal proportions, we look at your body's unique features and we help you um, find the silhouettes and the styles that are really going to become your go-tos and that are going to make you look and feel your best every single day. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more body type videos, please let let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, one of the things I, I did want to add is that uh, your body type doesn't change according to your weight. We're looking at the architecture and the structure of your body, your bones. So that's not going to change. You can gain weight, you can lose weight. So if you are on a weight loss journey, if you're trying to get in shape this summer, don't let that deter you from figuring out your body type because if anything, choosing silhouettes wherever you're at right now with your size that will make you look and feel your best is going to be a great catalyst for other things falling into place um, in your wardrobe, in your style, and even in your weight or size if that's a goal for you. So um, it won't change. So there's no reason to delay finding out what your body type is. Um, it's all about your shape and it's not about your size. So if you're a style doll one, you're a style doll one. If you're a size two, and if you're a size 22. Style doll three, size two, style 20, or size 22. So um, really understanding your body type can be such a transformational experience and really help you um, cut through the clutter at stores and get rid of that overwhelm and go straight for the silhouettes that are really going to flatter you. So again, hope that was helpful. I'll be diving into body type a little bit more deeply in future videos. Let me know what you thought of this, what your body type questions and challenges are and how I can help. Um, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Of course, please hit the notifications bell because that will let you know when I upload new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Thanks so much. Oh,